10 rare and unusual vegetables for your garden. Number one on our list is Orac, also known as mountain spinach or French spinach. It's a great vegetable because it is an edible and also an ornamental plant. It can be planted early in the spring because it tolerates moderate frost, but it also can be grown all the way into warm season. Uh, it's a great alternative to spinach because it just doesn't go to seed as quickly as spinach. So it's a slow boiled plant and it tastes just like spinach as well. You can use it in salads and also cook it. Next on our list is Salad Burnet. It's a great edible and medicinal hardy perennial with a crisp and clean cucumber flavor great for salads or sandwiches. Number three on our list is Miner's Lettuce also known as Claytonia. These tiny leaves are very crunchy, mild tasting, and they remain tender even when in flower. Also, they're loaded with vitamins, especially vitamin C. According to a study in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association, 100 grams of miner's lettuce contains a third of your daily requirement of vitamin C. It's a perennial in zones 6 to 9, but for cold climates it readily recedes with a high germination rate. Once you plant it, you can harvest from the same spot year after year. Herbostella minutina, also known as buckhorn's plantain, is another green vegetable that can tolerate moderate frosts and can be grown all winter in temperate climates. This Italian salad green prefers the cool and moist seasons of early spring or late fall. It can also be grown throughout the whole summer without becoming bitter. Another great vegetable is mush, also known as corn salad, because traditionally it used to be planted after the harvest of the corn for um, cool fall weather. I like to grow it twice a year, in the early spring and then again in the fall. Mush has a sweet, slightly nutty taste. I really like it in salads. Next on our list is wasabi greens, also known as wasabi arugula, but it's not a crossbreed of wasabi and arugula, it's actually a naturally occurring plant. Uh, I think it's from uh, Brassica's family. Also, sometimes I've heard it's called wasabi mustard because it has this sharp, spicy taste similar to mustard or wasabi. Another slightly spicy vegetable greens is Mizuna. It's a Japanese mustard uh, usually grown for salads and that's where I use it as well. It has um, a slightly bitter taste kind of like arugula, very pleasant though, and I would say it's a cut and come again green, very easy to grow. A close relative of Mizuna, a Japanese Mibuna, is very highly nutritious, a green with mild mustardy flavor. It can be used in salads, soups and stir fries. Growing Mibuna is easy and although 
plants do tolerate a certain amount of summer heat, but Nibuna prefers chilly, cool weather. Mibuna can grow up to one foot tall, but the young and small leaves are the most tasty. Number 9 on our list is Hablitia, also known as Caucasian spinach. It's a perennial climber, it can grow up to 3 meters or 9 feet tall. Edible greens and shoots, raw or cooked, mild taste, very similar to spinach. And the last vegetable on our list is French sorrel. One of my favorite green vegetables. It has a citrus-like flavor, uh, very tangy and sour. I love using it in salads, also adding it to soups. Um, just love to have it in my garden. It's one of the first vegetables that come out in early spring. Uh, unfortunately, it boils quickly, uh, but still um, the leaves are edible even when it's blooming. There is also another variety of sorrel called blood veined or red veined sorrel. It just looks so pretty and ornamental. So here you go, 10 rare and unusual vegetables I hope you'll consider adding to your garden. Thank you for watching.